So we are in the studio and home of M. Scott Mamaday, and he's probably more known for his writings as he won the Pulitzer Prize for House of Dawn, but he has opened up his art studio where he does his writing and he does his artwork here. So, Scott, thank you very much for opening your studio to us. My pleasure. I know House of Dawn was won the Pulitzer Prize, but I know you've done a lot of other writings. And I've got about 15 books now, and uh, the, most, uh, <clears throat> the most popular one, the bestseller is called The Way to Rainy Mountain, and it's a collection of Kiowa folk tales. Okay. Published by UNM Press. So All right. It's kind of a domestic uh, endeavor. And then a lot of things, I've several books of poetry, two novels, four plays, <laughs> All kinds of different things. So, are you still writing and doing your artwork equally on an active basis, or how do you how do you, how is an average day? Just I, I'm I'm uh, when I get into writing, I, I stay with that uh, consistently and let the artwork, the painting, come as it will. Uh, <clears throat> but I, I appreciate uh, both both activities. I've expressed my spirit equally in both. I think. Okay. And you were a professor at U of A, mm -hmm. I know, back then. Are you still doing any teaching or any professor type work? I teach a, an occasional seminar at UNM. Okay. And before I was at, uh, at U of A, I was at Stanford. And I did my graduate work there and was on the faculty for seven years. And I know you just received an honor back east. Yeah, uh, I received what is called the Ken Burns American Heritage Prize. Okay. And that was a great event. It was on the 1st of May, and I received it in New York at the Museum of Natural History. And 600 people for dinner under the big blue whale. Wow. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And this is going to be Scott's new book. This is the cover. And do you have any idea when, what is this book about? It's a book of poems. There are over 100 poems in the collection. And I think it's going to be out in um, uh, maybe the fall or the winter of 2020. Okay, and besides being a prolific writer and a well-known writer, he has opened up this bin here of some of some of the artwork and art pieces that he's doing. And Scott, are these mostly watercolors, or what? What are these? Uh, most of those paintings are acrylics. The one you have is is uh, charcoal. Okay. And uh, I like doing black and white, and I like working on paper. So most of my work is uh, in acrylics or watercolor. And have you always done your artwork along with your writing? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I started writing first, but um, <clears throat> I, was in this, I was in Russia, what was then the Soviet Union, in 1974. I was teaching there. And something about the atmosphere made me want to draw and paint. And I'd watched my father draw and paint. He was a painter. So I fell into that. It became a second career. <clears throat> wow, look at that. And what, what do you do with your artwork? Do you illustrate your books or do you... Yeah, I illustrate my books. And I show occasionally. I have shown at galleries around town and uh, elsewhere. <clears throat> Beautiful, Scott. And you have a bin that must... There must be over a hundred pieces in here. There's close to that, I think. Yeah, okay. quite a few. I work in the mornings, uh, preferably. And I write. Uh, I'm good for two or three hours of writing, and then I have to turn to something else. And usually, what I turn to is drawing or painting, or watching sports on television. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we're with M. Scott Mamaday, and Scott, I've actually known way back from the Canyon Road days. I can't remember how long we've known each other because I went to U of A. I know you did. And yeah. we were talking about sports way back probably 30 years ago um, on Canyon Road. That's right. And, and it's so nice to have a friend like Scott and open up his studio and to see what a great artist and what a great writer, what a great privilege to be here. So thank you, Scott. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Nice to, nice to have you here.